Category 5. Massive storms that cause mass destruction to everything in their path. Flooding roadways, tearing houses apart, and tossing boats like a child in a bathtub. With winds of 157 miles per hour or greater, these swirling donuts of death are a force to be reckoned with. But hurricanes can be much worse than this. Some have even broke the scale and redefined everything we know about them. But this begs the question, what would a Category 10 look like? Let's find out. I assume you're probably wondering why I skipped Categories 6 through 9. The answer is that Category 6 and even 7 hurricanes have happened already. Plus, it didn't really feel right to do a video on a Category 8 or 9. Now I know some of you are already mad at me for this and are probably already typing out a hate response, Rainbow. But unlike tornadoes, hurricanes are rated solely on wind speed, using the Sapphire Simpson scale, which like tornadoes, rates from 1 to 5. However, it has officially been stated that multiple hurricanes have qualified for a Category 6 and one for a 7 rating. Dorian, Labor Day, Gilbert, Wilma, and Allen. Each of these hurricanes sustained wind speeds of over 185 miles per hour, which according to the Scientific American would be the minimum threshold for a Category 6. However, there was one that even topped that, Hurricane Patricia. This powerful hurricane sustained winds of 215 miles per hour, only making 7th minimum threshold by 5 miles per hour. So by this logic, the ranking is increased every 15 to 20 miles per hour. So this would mean that a Category 10 would likely have wind speeds of around 257 plus miles per hour, double that of a Category 5. A terrifying thought to say the least. The pressure would likely drop to 1100 millibar, the storm surge would be over 100 feet tall, and the wind damage would be like that of the Gerald Tornado, leaving next to nothing behind it. Not to mention, a hurricane of this magnitude would likely create a massive tornado outbreak, with some tornadoes reaching EF3 or higher. Unless you evacuate the state, you would not be able to survive a storm this incredible. Now the likelihood of this happening is extremely unlikely. It was a miracle for Hurricane Patricia to reach 200 plus wind speeds. So there you have it. A Category 10 would be a life-altering storm, likely killing millions and completely destroying entire states and smaller countries. If you like this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next chase.